Good morning, everyone. Today is day 13 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. Oh, and I wanted to mention you should also go over and see her. She's the one who puts it on. Um, I actually have, I told you yesterday, I haven't been able to um, watch anything. And um, so I don't know if she's actually participating. Sometimes she just puts it on. I know the whole thing is a whole lot of work. And, um, but go over there and show her some love. And so anyhow, um, Janet Fritz is our sketch artist today. Gosh, I got tape and <laughs> everything on me today. Um, and she has, let's see, here. here's the center. And over here she has six photos. She has two, what are they? Four by threes, a four by six. She's got a six by four here, three by fours here. I, on the next page she has a six by four. She has two three by fours and two more three by fours. Well, actually three more three by fours. So she has a whole ton of pictures. And I have to tell you, the pictures I'm gonna use are from um, the pumpkin patch from 2017. And the reason I come I haven't done them is because there's so many pictures. <laughs> and it always seemed overwhelming. But it's like, okay, this is perfect. It's, it's so perfect. Okay. So, I am going to start, oh, I forgot to say. Now she has, it looks like she's got a pattern paper here, and maybe she's got like two vertical strips here, no, horizontal strips here, and then maybe a full piece here, and maybe something here. So it's kind of, it looks like a mixed media thing, which is, you know, I really have to stretch even to do a tag. And then she has embellishments here and a title here and embellishments up here. Now I'm going to stick my title up here because I really embellished it down here. And I think, I don't know, maybe, no, my pictures are close to her size. So um, I'm just thinking, it seems like I didn't have as much room. <laughs> Okay, well I did, I am matting my layout, and I'm actually going to start this um, at a quarter of an inch up, and I'm going to be a quarter inch from the side. So all the way around the edges, I'm going to have a quarter inch. And, and this is a Halloween layout, if you can't tell. <laughs> okay, and I have the twins, the grand twins, and... This one is going to be for Aiden, and then um, I actually have his sisters already done, and I'll show you that at the end. But um, I take turns if I'm doing the same one. I take turns showing, you know, who who has been shown last or whatever. And usually Alex is in more activities, and it's just easier to get a picture of her because you know she's a girl. <laughs> And boys, they aren't into it as much. I mean, it's like sometimes Aiden is like so faking it. <laughs> he has to get a picture taken. And then sometimes he's great about it. Okay, I think I might be a little low. So I'm going to pull it up here. So I am going to put it right up against the edge. I'm not going to push it down until I check it. Oh, and the papers I am using... They are from a die cut with a view paper pad, I'm pretty sure, that I got at Joann's. And um, they are super old and they are super thin. They're probably 23 years old, I'm thinking. Back when I first started scrapbooking, and we'd go buy the big paper pads. Oh, this one looks a little off. Yep, so I will just pull my next paper over it. And I'm just a little shy of 
a quarter of an inch but since it's shy on both ends I guess it's okay yeah that's good okay and the this is too is from one of those paper pads it might be from the same thing I have no idea <laughs> They've been, they've just been in my stash for so long, but I know that the, that's where the, those were the um, pads of paper that we used to buy. And we did card classes back in the day. And so, um, you know, we'd get those pads and that way we'd have enough to do the card class. And I would say my measurement's a little off there too. I thought I cut it straight, but looks like it's not exactly straight. Okay, I'm gonna just check here. Okay, three and a quarter. Are we three and a quarter over here? The paper's so thin. Well, actually, I'm um, up against this little black, which isn't. I don't know, that's pretty heavy duty, but not, I guess, heavy duty enough to get the T-square to line up really good with it. Okay, and since my paper was a little off, well, I guess this is where it's gonna be. You know, once you get a thin paper and it grabs, that's kind of where you're at. <laughs> uh, choice is made. Okay, three and an eighth. I hope that's good there because I mean three and a quarter is what it was. And it's a little low, but you know what? It actually looks even because of this one being a little off. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the same up here. So I'm trying to get that little bit of pattern that she shows in her mixed media. Otherwise, maybe she just has a paper that's like that. You know, sometimes they are just a paper like that. Okay, so now I want it a quarter inch from the top. Okay, let's see where that's at. It is at almost, it's at eight, three quarters. Okay, that's even there. Let's see if we can get this one to <laughs> be lined up with it. Now it's, I really love having a sketch because I feel like Half the work is done because I don't have to think about it. Now, um, because it is a little, you know, because it looks more like um, mixed media, you know, I just have to decide how mine is going to look or what I have to do to kind of make it look like that. So, let's see, this one is... Okay, it looks good. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. Okay, now I gotta figure out how I line these up. <laughs> okay, this goes here, this goes here, this is gonna go here. So I am missing, um, like I don't have a three by four for here. So I'm just gonna have uh, kind of an empty space, top and bottom. Oops, that goes here, I think. Nope, this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here, okay. I made this one a little bit smaller because I also didn't have a horizontal bigger picture. And these I had developed so long ago that you know, I just never did anything with them. It was like, how am I going to get all those? 
you know, I just figured it would take me pages and pages. So I'll tell you, that's also something really great about doing the sketches because I really thought I would have to do probably a four page layout if I wanted to use all these pictures. Okay, and I'm just making like probably a sixteenth of an inch there because I know these are going to be crowded over here to get them to fit. Okay, and this one is going to go here, but I'm going to put these down first just to get them to fit. And the pictures are probably all different widths because I'm pretty sure I ordered these, but um, it was like they, um, they had white around them and kinda, yeah, I did order them. And it's like they, I probably had to put the photo on there, I don't know. <laughs> you know how when you order them online, it's like you're kind of making the decision of the layout. So I probably had to get them to fit just right in there. And because it's like each one of them had white around them and all different. It was like, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, if I have to try to make these <laughs> all the same measurement. And then I just thought, you know what, I'm just not going to. They will be fine. Because um, I didn't want to cut off any extra. And then, um, you know, this, when I got to this one, I thought, oh, I need it to be a little smaller. So it's like you can hardly see us. This is my daughter. This is me. This is Aiden. And this is Alex. And you can barely make them out from here. So I can imagine you really can't see them there. Okay, but I am going to use it anyway because sometimes you just got to, they'll be able to, you know, see themselves when they're looking in the picture or looking at the picture. Okay, and then I'm just going to overlap this one here because you'll still be able to see everything that's going on. Okay, I don't want to cut off his, well I guess you can't really see his foot there, so it's okay. I know when my kids take pictures, um, and it's like, you, know, you cut off their feet. <laughs> I hate it when they're cut off at the ankles or something. <laughs> so I do complain about it. <laughs> That's why when I'm there and I take, you know, it's like I take hundreds of pictures because I'm trying to get, um, you know, just the, the right one. Okay, and these go down here. This one will go up here. We'll go there, come here. And lots of times I'll put like this one, it's closer picture. So I think it looks heavier. Um, this one I would normally put down here, but the sketch has it up here, so I'm going to put it up there. I mean, it's kind of one of the main pictures because it's big. So I'm going to go ahead and put it there. And I had to make it big to get them in there because otherwise they would be... Um, so small because of them being so far apart. <laughs> okay. And that there. So I would have probably waited, let's see, that's um, it's almost been, let's see, seven years, right? 
Yeah, it's almost been seven years since this picture was taken. So I would have probably waited another seven if um, we wouldn't have had this, <laughs> this um, 30 days of sketches with the double pages. Oh, and here's another one of those pictures where we're in the booth. But um, the lighting, we should have been looking out the other window or something. Because then we wouldn't have been shadowed. We'd had to squint, but we wouldn't have been shadowed. I don't know if there was a back backside or not for that. Okay. It was so funny because um, when we were there, um, their mom is like, okay, you get to each pick out a pumpkin. And I says, you're going to tell them that they can have one that um, they can put in the, <laughs> in the wheelbarrow because <laughs> they were so big and heavy. And, of course, they, I said, oh, you got to be able to pick it up. So it was so cute. Okay, and I've cut some more paper or some more embellishments or I guess they call them elements from Minte. And so that's what I'm going to be using. Whoops, I gotta pull up my cheat, my cheat thing here. Okay, let's see. I've got the cat here. I've got the little pumpkin face guy there. I think let's see. I wanna put I think I want to put the, um, the cat first. Maybe I'll put the cat after. Okay. I did a pretty scary looking one where Aiden was dressed up with, like one of those pumpkin face guys. It's so funny because um, his dad was looking at the layout and he goes, I don't remember him being dressed like that. And that's because, and his mom said, that's because he hated wearing that mask. <laughs> and I can imagine. I think I only wore a mask one time when I was a kid for Halloween. And it was um, like a Cinderella mask. And you really couldn't see behind, you know, when you were wearing it, it was really difficult. So I was not into it as much as I wanted to be Cinderella. <laughs> Just didn't work well. Okay, now for the cat. And I actually had to, I tried to get these cut ahead, but it's like, I don't know. I know, um, watching Ginger, uh, she takes care of the little face, well, the big Facebook group, the embellishment swaps, and she still gets all the stuff done. It's like, it's just crazy. And um, I was watching her video, and she said, I'm not an overachiever. And I thought, for Pete's sake, you are too. <laughs> you are an overachiever. said, I can't keep up with you. I can't keep up with me. <laughs> can't keep up with what I'm supposed to do. I love this little spider web, so I'm going to put that there. You'd think I wouldn't like spider webs after I um, totally took one down with my face. Well, I didn't totally take one down. Just a quarter of it. It was humongous. <laughs> had a face size hole in it when I was finished. Okay. It was amazing. There's only certain um, spiders that can make those big round webs. So I find it really interesting, but I really didn't want to <laughs> run into one. Uh, the lighting was just right where I didn't see it.
I got the little crow and the jack-o'-lantern. And then I have one of the little stars. And I do these on a um, one I did with Alex. And I still need to do Aiden's for that, but I gotta find his pictures first. You know, I've got um, all these grandkids and they're and I've tried to keep organized the oh guess what? I forgot to put in my strips. And like this was supposed to be right here. Do you think I could line that up somehow? Maybe. I'm gonna try to. Because I wanted them there. Okay, I'm just gonna try tucking this right back there. I'm gonna put this here so I know where to line it up. And if I can't get it in there, I'll at least have this one down. <laughs> I like that little extra strip. Oh, this one says from Sandy Cloth Colorbach. So I guess that's where the dot was from. I only had a scrap of this, so I wasn't sure. There we go, that side's down. Okay, my camera turned off, so. I lifted up these guys and tucked that underneath there. Now he just needs some. It's a good thing I didn't put any glue on his feet at first because I wouldn't have got him up. But now I'll need that because they're just wanting to stick right up. <laughs> okay, so I got that in there. Happy about that. Okay, I guess I'll leave that off there. I used my trusty little flipper. <laughs> okay, and then I've got this little, oops, I gotta find my cheap picture to see how I had him on here. Okay, so I have him over here so he's not covering up that scully guy. I think that's what his name is. And then I have a black pumpkin and an orange pumpkin and some stars. And I think I had three stars, but I only see two. Is it under here? There it is. Okay. Okay, so I've got this first. Or do I want it the other way? Maybe I'll put the pumpkin first. Put this guy right in front of him. over Scully's head. And then a little orange jack lantern. And then my stars. I 
and I got a black one. And then another one of the off-white ones. We're having a meeting tomorrow, so I have to go make sandwiches after this. Okay. And then I am calling it Pumpkin Farm because it's Spooner's Farm for Spooner Farm. So I'm calling it Pumpkin Farm, and I got to tell you, these letters here, I, w I got them at Tuesday morning. I wish I would have bought a ton of them. And that might have only been one package, but it's hard to find orange ones, orange letters at all. And these ones are like perfect Halloween ones. And my other ones I got from... I think I got them from Maureen, I'm pretty sure. Because I don't think I had any. My orange ones were very lacking. Because I think I got to the point where I, every time I seen orange letters, I just bought them. So I'm pretty sure she gave these to me. So thanks, Maureen. But I had a hard time doing my layout without a title. <laughs> I think I'll pause it. I'll be faster. Okay, I've got the title on. And I am just going to use some green enamel dots. Because we don't have any green in this collection except for the cat's eyes, I think. So I'm just going to spread some of these around. I'll tell you, use a lot of I mean, enamel dots and a lot of paper and a lot of <laughs> tape when you're doing um, two layouts at a time, but this I think is the first layout I've done two of. Well, especially a double page layout. Okay, move on over there. Okay, I think that's good right there. So I will have close-ups at the end, but let me show you Alex's. Hers is very similar. Um, I've got different um, elements, the, cut, the fussy cut pieces, so there's hers. And it was 2017, so I'll get that written on here someplace. That's one thing I know. <laughs> And so they would have been, 2017, they would have been two. Because they are nine right now. They're going to be ten at the end of the year. So that's it for today. Make sure you check that drop down menu and it will show where you can go and watch people that are doing YouTube videos. And then another one where you can see um, where the pictures are just posted and I'll try to remember to put Christie's link down there too because I think I usually had that there and I don't think I have it on there this year so or this this actual one so thank you for joining me have a wonderful and blessed day and I will see you tomorrow bye bye